So you're not a software developer. You don't know anything about data structures, classes, methods, or properties. But you have this amazing idea of an app that you would like to build. Wouldn't it just be awesome if you could just tell what you're trying to achieve, give specific details on how the app should work, and get the app working at the very end? This is exactly what the Backwrap plugin for ChatGPT does. I'm Alex, the architect from Backwrap, and today I'll show you how to write an app without writing a single line of code and totally for free. So here I am at ChatGPT where I have chosen the GPT-4 model and I have enabled the Backwrap plugin for ChatGPT. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on new content like this. And I'll leave in a, a video on the description of this video so you can see how to install the Backfrap plugin for ChatGPT on your own account. And here I have my Backfrap account where I have two apps already running, Backend Tests and Yon. And I'm going to ask the Backfrap plugin for ChatGPT to create an app that resembles Uber. So here I will just prompt. Please create a new app in Backfrap, name it Uber Clone. This app should have drivers and their positions. Uh, passengers and their positions and points of interest and their positions. After you create the data structures for holding this data, please fill each type with at least five working examples of data. You can use the city of New York for random positions for the examples. Now, if we just hit enter, this will activate the Backfrap plugin for ChatGPT and you're going to see a green box that you can expand so you can see exactly which operations are being done in Backfrap by ChatGPT. And remember, hosting an app in Backfrap can be 100% free. It all depends on what your, the size of your app is and how many requests you do. So it finally finished doing all the operations and it correctly created the data structures for holding drivers and added five drivers, passengers and five passengers and points of interest and five points in of interest. And it correctly set the data types for holding geographical positions as geo points. So we can now do, op uh, do oper uh, mathematical operations to check distances using these positions. So back to back for app, I'm going to refresh this page and then we can check all that was done by ChatGPT. So here is my Uber clone app that was just created. I'm going to go to the manage management dashboard. And in here you find, for instance, the drivers that you can expand to see that William Johnson is a driver and it is at currently this position. John Doe is at currently this position. And also we can do the same for passengers and points of interest. But the coolest thing about it is that you can now consume this data from ChatGPT as well. So back to ChatGPT, I'm going to prompt. Please find the driver nearest to the passenger, name it, and then let's get, for instance, Charlie Black. So the driver that is nearest to Charlie Black is Robert Brown. And we, do, we can do all kinds of operations in this app from now on. So for instance, what is the price for a ride from, let's get another user, let's get Daisy Blue. 
blues position on up to the Statue of Liberty, considering that a mile would cost one dollar. So the ride for this passenger would cost $4.90. And you can do this for all kinds of operations. So now all you have to do is to build the front end, which you can also do on the ChatGPT, and you're good to go. So if you like this kind of content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are a subscriber, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave in the comment section below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.